Dr. Curry here. I treat a lot of patients who come in and say, Dr. Curry, I, I have to sleep in a recliner all the time. Dr. Curry, I, I hurt when I'm up. I hurt when I'm doing things. But if I, if I go sit in that recliner, it'll take the edge off the pain and it'll give me some relief if I sit in the recliner, especially if I bend my knees and I can get those knees bent. Well, there's a reason for that. And I'm going to explain that right now. When you sit in the recliner, and I, I do want to say this, this isn't for everyone. This is not a blanket type scenario because everyone's different, okay? But with a lot of people who have degenerative disc disease, when that disc breaks down and then the joints are jammed and then the nerves are pinched. So I made a video recently on shopping cart syndrome and why people will lean forward and get that shopping cart because that takes some of the pressure off of those nerves when they lean forward. So on, on the flip side of things, some people... It's the recliner, but instead of leaning forward like this, taking the pressure off of those nerves, they'll sit in the recliner and then bend their knees. And when they bend their knees in that recliner, then it's, it's like leaning forward, but in the opposite direction. They're doing it with the legs and bending the knees. And so when those knees bend like that, then that opens that up and it can take some pressure off of the nerves that are choked and pinched from the bad disc. And so that's why if you're sleeping in a recliner and you're having to sleep in a recliner because of the pain that you're dealing with, then that's a sign that there's degenerative disc disease, whether it's a bulging disc or a herniated disc, or if it's just a broken down, desiccated, dehydrated disc that's then allowing those nerves to get pinched, you sit in the recliner and then it takes some of that pressure off once you bend those knees.